Alright guys, welcome back to more Pez 6 Master League. Today we are back and we're in pre-season guys. Of course, um, we have got the 8 pre-season games. First of all, we'll be kicking off against Real Madrid. And um, yeah, of course as well, the negotiations are all blanked out. They're all grayed out, so you can't do anything in this first week. So we'll be taking a look at the transfers and who's available, who's up for free, who's around at the end of the episode and then in the next episode we'll be probably making our first bids with the funds that we've got 53,000 funds right there and the team salary is 16,000 so that's not too bad so without further ado guys let's kick off this brand new season with a trip to Real Madrid let's go so here we are then guys we're at a rainy Santiago Ben about to do but uh, this is the first game and our pre-season schedule get us prepared for the new season as you might see there guys we have got a new kit on today i've been uh, playing around with some of the uh, files and um yeah we've got a new away kit we've got a new fed kit as well which we're going to be using against inter milan next week and um yeah our home kit has been slightly modified the colors have been changed around as well so uh, the away kit you're seeing right now is actually based on reading's 0708 away kit it's not entirely accurate but um i figured you know new season let's try and get a new kit if we can and uh, it's uh, it's quite possible guys so uh, yeah and we're gonna be acting as an away team today so uh, yes the season is back but the competitive season is not quite back yet. Um, we got some time before then. But uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. Our ambition is to try and win Europe this season, of course. To try and retain the league. And obviously try and retain the Cubs. If we can do a treble, possibly. Um, whether or not we do is a different matter. And it's Aguero! What a effort by Aguero! And there's the first goal of the new season. And what a goal it was. Wow. Well, well, well. Aguero tells us why we don't need a new striker this summer. How about that outside the box? Excellent, excellent stuff. What a start. I mean, um, Aguero at the back end of last season looked like he was improving quite um, significantly, but that is an excellent strike. And I think they got Casillas in goal, so it's uh, maybe extra special possibly there. But uh, what a great start for us. Uh, yeah, Mutu and uh, Aguero up front today. This is a good taste, guys, of what is maybe to come this season. Um, because obviously we're going to be playing in Europe. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that. And I can't wait for that to get going. But, um, you know, with us playing in Europe, um, you know, the pre-season fixtures we've got, uh, are sort of catering to that in a way that we'll be experiencing what it might be like against these teams uh, you know as and when they do come up you don't know who we're going to get in the group stage for example and if we get beyond that you don't know who we're going to get either so yeah this will be some good experience in my opinion for for that because last preseason it was kind of a it was kind of an easier preseason if you know what I mean like it wasn't too um Oh, I don't, I don't know what's the word for it. It wasn't too, it wasn't too difficult. I mean, there was some games where we maybe kind of struggled, maybe slightly a bit, but um, you know, we we dealt with it. Here's Emerson though, and we can't take the ball away from him. Benatira is in there. He's in attacking midfield today, and Skettle's going to have to clear it. Anyway, I'll do there. So Beckham will take the throw in. Bastek is playing. He's on the left of the midfield today, so I, I don't know. He'll probably get more game time this season. I don't know who we're going to sign, you know, to be honest. I'm thinking maybe we might need to recruit at the back. I'm thinking Gilberto... S oh, Caridi picks it up. Caridi's actually wearing a, uh, a new goalkeeper kit as well. I've changed the colours around on the goalkeeper kits as well, just so everybody knows. There's like four different goalkeeper kits, and I've changed the colours on them. Just, you know, something different, something fresh, new season kind of thing. Um... But yeah, I feel like Gilberto Silva might go because he's kind of he's done a good job for us, and he's but he's kind of like you know he's kind of slow and that, and maybe we could do with a new DMF to replace him, something like that. I don't know. Maybe Mafio could just play that position. If not, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. You know, what I mean, every preseason we say one thing but do another. <laughs> that's that's the way Pez works, and that's two 0 and it's Benatira with a goal, and we're making it look easy already. 
Although it has been a, a bit more of Madrid's possession um, in the past quite a few minutes though since I get in our first goal but yeah good ball in there by Bastek Benatira runs in there I don't know where Mutu was I don't I even hardly seen Mutu today actually there he was ball in and nodded in excellent excellent stuff great start for us um yeah, so we got uh, we got Skato, we got Maldini and company at the back. Company will probably get more game time. I think Simic is on his way out more than likely. We'll probably try and sell him, but if we can't, we'll probably um, more than likely just release him, I reckon. Um, which is why I'm thinking about like a new centre-back or whatever, but I guess we'll see. You know, I mean, you don't know what it's going to say. And here's Aguero, and that's got to be free. <laughs> and we're making it look too easy already, you know. I mean, the, the season's over, guys. We need to just, like, we need to go back. <laughs> we need to go back. We, we, we're free up against Madrid in the first half. That's it, you know. We're too good for this. We don't need to prove ourselves by winning the Champions League or anything. But, uh, yeah, good stuff there. One-on-one, -on -one, he's past Cannavaro. And making Casillas look like a chump today. Our good old formation, we're not going to change it. We're just going to keep it the same. It works very well for us. Here's Beckham. And that has gone well wide, although it's still kept in by Cassano. And here's Reyes. And it's Valeron. And it's Cassano. Oh, and can't get past Roberto Silva. And that could be good for Aguero. I think it's going to run out, though. And we've actually got the uh, the throw-in off of that, so it wasn't too bad. And here's Benatira. Ah, oh, but that's going to go out. Never mind. Roberto Carlos, what a signing that'd be. That'd be good. But the thing is, that kind of puts me off him, is that he's a little bit old. So, I don't know about that. But here's Benatira! <laughs> what a goal! What is going on? I can't believe it. Four pretty good goals from us today so far. It's not half time yet. Making it look easy. <laughs> Making it look easy. Best take. It's over to Benatira. He hits it. Oh, nice. Mutu's not got a single one of them yet. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, he was top goal scorer in the league last season, if you remember that. So it was really good to see him there. Trying to get it again this season. Oh, Kasana skips past. And, whoa, that is way off target. And they've brought Raul on there. It's Maldini. Didn't have a bad first season, Maldini. He was quite, in the, quite impressed. Obviously, his stamina is is the only thing, in my opinion. You know what, Mutu? Oh, oh! <laughs> Why not? Uh, his stamina is probably the only thing that I have a slight problem with. But, um, yeah, I mean, he, he had a really good fair season anyway, and, and that will improve over time if he gets more games. So, you know, we probably want to do try and use him more, um, especially after a good fair season, I guess. You know, I mean, so I'm I'm really kind of skeptical about putting like um, players that are that are younger on the field, but um, you know, just because of the lack of of experience and they tend to have stamina problems. Here's Mutu, and that's off target. Didn't really have the support of Aguero there, but oh well. And that's going to be half time, and um, <laughs> we're obliterating this already. <laughs> Just about. Then again, it's pre-season. It's pre-season. I won't get too overhyped. Here's Maxwell. I haven't said anything really about Maxwell, have I? 
Boot it up. And that's half time, guys. So, um, yeah. <laughs> what, more, what more can I say there? <laughs> Bring on the second half. And we're off once again. And uh, Nuri Sahin and Arturan are going to come on just because they're quite young players and obviously I want them to get a bit of experience. So yeah, Benatira, who's played excellent in that first half, is going to come off, which I don't kind of really want to do, but, you know, it's pre-season. So, oh, oh, let us have that. Um, yeah, uh, Bastek is the other one who's come off. Uh, Arturan's uh, gone onto that left side where he was. Booted up by Casillas here. Nuri Sahin there. And uh, taken away by Maxwell, who's going to keep a run going here. Oh, nearly kept it going. Here's Cannavaro. Booted up. And taken away by uh, Roberto Carlos there. But Salgaldo out wide here. It's Cannavaro again. Back to Salgaldo. And it's going to be Reyes, but taken away. No, it's not taken away. <laughs> Out to uh, Salgaldo. I'm getting confused because it feels like the referee is, is one of our players because of the uh, bit of a kit clash there, I guess you could call it. Here's Beckham. Here's Nuri Sahin. Oh no. Oh, over to Mutu. He's going to find it as well. It's Mutu. It's Mutu! Oh, hits the post! Unbelievable. But it's back in there. And it's going to go wide. Is Cannavaro or Aguero fast enough? Cannavaro was in a better position. Unbelievable. Nice work, though, by Mutu. Company. And it's Aguero. Oh, and Aguero trying to run through. Here's Maxwell, it's Aguero, but he's offside. Good display by us so far, though. I think that's fair to say. And a Turan comes back. Honor's in there. I haven't mentioned Honor today, have I? <laughs> Caridi in goal as well. And Reyes is weaving in and out. And it's over to Roberto Carlos who swings the ball across. It's kept out though. We're going to get it away. Oh, Honor's slide tackle in there. Here's Beckham. Beckham goes for the effort, but it's off target. Age 33, he'll be 34 next season, Beckham. Hasn't uh, retired in this game yet. Probably got like a few more years anyway. Maldini, Skirtle. Turin, here's your bet of silver. And we've still got it here. And it's uh, Maxwell. Oh, what a save by Casillas. That was a good effort by Maxwell. Oh, forced a good save out of him. Yuri Sahin in there. And it's got to be... Oh, Aguero didn't get hold of it right, did he? Unlucky. Got to use our last sub. Uh, got to bring off Maxwell. He's played a really good game for Walcott. We didn't really see Walcott as much... Uh, last season as I would have liked so um, I just, you can't argue with the goals he did score the last season so some excellent goals I think every goal he scored was an excellent one though uh, here's Arturan and he's still going and that's going to be out of play not much time left in this one and then we'll get on to looking at the transfer window as it becomes open We might even have a few um, offers already for some of our players or something, so we'll check up on that. He 
if need be. Here's company. Walcott. And that's going to run out of play. Here's on out. Into the box. Oh, Guerra waiting for it. Is Gilberto Silva? Oh! <laughs> Every single goal has been excellent in this. Gilberto Silva, I was just talking earlier how I might want to get rid of him. I think the only goal he scored last season was that one where I think he won it back against uh, Spares away. And he, he just put it into the net and we only won that game 1-0. It was his goal, got the winner. And then he does this against Madrid. It's been brilliant. Casillas does not know what's hit him today. Bang. We are loving it out there. It might be a miserable rainy day, but um, <laughs> we're certainly liking this. Wide here, company's going to have to chase down Reyes. Oh, he doesn't quite do that. He's out of Turan. Beckham out wide. Nearly Sahin tries to chase him down. It's Cassano. We don't want to let him cut inside. Beckham over the bar. And I think, was that out of Turan? Was just like trying to do something there. If he, if he wants to be a defensive player, we can make him a defensive player, but... Uh, Guerra's offside. just feel like he keeps coming back quite a lot, that's all. And offside yet again from Aguero. I think that's like three times he's been offside today, isn't it? And that was a bad pass. Two minutes added on here. A day that Madrid will want to forget. Well, the Mutu is sighing, is out of Turan. He's going to have to keep a run going here. Which he does. And, oh, off target. And it's fair to say we had the better game there. What a game for us. Every goal was, was very good. And I uh, pretty much enjoyed that one. That's for certain. Game records, Aguero with a 7.0 today. To be honest, I thought maybe it might have been a little bit higher than that. I thought maybe somebody might have got an 8 there with it being such a good game. But um, yeah, so Aguero got uh, 2, Beratira got 2, Gilberto got 1. Um, and that was really good guys, I was really uh, impressed with that today and uh, Madrid, not so good for them. Anyway guys, we got some offers here for some of our players, Neri Sahid from Ajax, we got two um, offers for Benatera, one from Arsenal and one from Madrid, who we've just played against, and uh, we've got an offer for Aguero. Uh, from Juventus. So uh, yeah, our Ajax have offered 4,831 for Neri Sahin. Well, we only just signed him in the last window and I kind of don't want to get rid of him. He's still 19, he'll be 20 next season. Um, so that's one thing that's happened there. Um, Juventus have offered 7,428 for Aguero, but we won't be accepting that. And Benatera uh, from Arsenal, we have offered 5,926 and... The Real Madrid have even offered less than that, so yeah, we will not be accepting any of those offers. Anyway, though, to start off with, we are going to enter some players for a possible transfer, so Simic is going to be one. Um, Ayuga, we're not renewing his contract, so I guess we'll just let it expire or whatever. Toms, uh, we'll enter him. I think I might enter Sagner as well. Yeah, I think we're going to do that because we didn't really play him too much last season, so that might be a thing. Um... Who else? Du, 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 du. Saviol. I'm going to enter Saviol just to see what comes back, if anything at all. And I think that might be it. We'll enter Silver as well, just in case, see what happens with that. Because he's like on the decline now. I mean, how old is he? He's uh, 32. Um, mm, you know, so I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens with those, I think, for now. Um... You know, we'll enter, you know, it's not, nothing is confirmed, but we'll enter a tour and just see if any offers come in yet again there. Uh, and I think we might be 
just about happy with that. So here we go then guys, this is the uh, transfer window. Let's see what's going to happen now. One of the first things that I do do is have a look at the non-affiliated to see who is there. We got Carrick here sitting on the um, non-affiliated for, uh, for a free transfer. So that's kind of something. Aludiara there. Wow, um, Abidal. Ooh, uh, 29. Hmm, okay. Um, Giannacopoulos there. How old is he? 34 at this point. Um, Ricardo for a goalkeeper. Don't, not sure if we really need a... I'm quite happy with Carini, but maybe we could try and maybe... I mean, we could maybe get another goalkeeper, possibly. I don't know. Um, yeah, Freer there. Who's 29. Price. Is that my price? <laughs> Is that my price? Um, Harry Kuehl is up for a free transfer, guys. What do we think? What do we think about that? 30 years of age. He's going to be 31, obviously, in a few weeks when we enter the new season because everybody ages by one year. Um, I guess I wouldn't be too bad. What's his, The thing about him, though, is his injury is a C, so he's very prone to injuries, which is probably maybe why I'd probably um, avoid him, to be honest. Uh, we got Keir Hill as well on here how old is he at this point he's 28 but 29 uh bon oh that is a good one to be honest he's very speedy 91 uh top speed acceleration is 90 very good players only 22 at this point um that is one that i'm i'm quite considering right there actually ali adier is on here as well what's his speed like not as good Bon the is very good though. Um, Traore, we got Bullard, we got McBride on here. Dudek, Dudek for a backup goalkeeper, guys. Bring him in and get rid of uh, Tom's, Fom, Fommy Tom's or whatever. That would be good. Maybe uh, maybe consider that one as well. Um, Catamol, Jones Catamol, he's 20. Um, what we got on this one? Let's start from the top. The word Krull, oh, that would be a good one. He's up for a free transfer. He's only 20 as well. Krull might be a better option than over Dudek saying that. Uh, Smith, 28. Mm. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, who else we got? Anybody Anybody that stands out? David Pizarro, yeah. 29. Decent stats. Um... Uh, Manchev, no, 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 nothing too much there. We still got a couple of pages left. Hector Vic Victor, he looks pretty good. He's 23. He's got good stats. Uh, who else we got? So there's nothing too standy out. I mean, we've seen some already, but no. Nothing too much there, and this is the last page of free transfers. Obviously, it does kind of change every now and then, so we'll we'll come back to it um, as well. Rosenfar, uh, now what? No, twenty-two. Yeah. Uh, Kadira, is that twenty years of age? Ooh, ooh, interesting. Very interesting. Oh, we got. Who, 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 whatever his name is, he looks very good. How old is he? 19! Whoa, look at that then. Them stats for a 19 year old. He is on my uh, list then, possibly, guys. So let me know what you think of that one. But um, yeah, we got any good newcomers then? We got Khan, we got James here. Cafu, uh, 17 at this point. Um, Lehman, regenerated Lehman, 17 years of age there. Two guys, Speed, Stubbs. Um, who else? Van Hoydonk, 17. Uh, Hewlands, the legendary. <laughs> uh, who else we got on here? Shitu. And that's about it, guys. So, yeah, that's that. We got the others section, but that's just like, uh You'd be there forever. We've got 68 pages right there. Maybe I'll have a look through it and maybe pick out one or two over time, possibly, and see what we uh, we think of that. Now, the other one that I obviously do is the openness to negotiation as well, guys. So these are the players that are open to negotiate with you. And look at that immediately. This this guy right here, 26 years of age, looks like he's Saudi Arabian. Oh, them stats. Oh, wow. That is a good one. He's open to negotiate as well, so that could be something right there. This guy right here as well. Whoa, look at the top speed and acceleration on him. Holy hell. That is good. 27 years of age. What position can he play? Side midfield and wing forward. 
could be a thing. We've got BT there. We've got Valdez here from um, Dortmund. 24. Very good stats. Um, wow, there's a lot of good players on here. How old's this guy? 25. He's 29. Um, how old's he? 26. He's 26 and 28. Interesting, interesting. Penner there. Uh, he's 32 though. Uh, who else is on here? We got Zorro, the legendary Zorro. <laughs> um, ooh, look at that. Piccolo. Pickle, Piccolo, whatever you want to call him. Um, centre back. Look at those stats for a centre back. Holy crap. How old is he? 25. Open to negotiate, guys. That could be a thing. I mean, there's some of these centre backs right here have got really amazing stats. I think we're gonna we're gonna be doing a bit of wheeling and dealing on this section more than anything. Met Zelda's there, he's open to negotiate, 27 years of age. Um Abiate's on here. Wasn't he on here before, I think, wasn't he? He's gonna be 32 soon. Um Ross, oh, it won't be too bad. 30, 35 though saying that. Dude Ekintanji. Um and yeah, that's that's about it, guys. So there was some on there, not too bad, but this there's, there's a lot of good players that have got a lot of um Good stats. I guess the last thing we'll do here is we'll look at um, the future potential. So this is the players that are quite young and, uh, well, well, not necessarily too young, but have got a good future ahead of them in terms of how the stats are going to improve. So, yeah. Um, so the Sergio Garcia right here looks very good. Um, Jesus Navas here. Ooh, 22. Could be a possibility. Plays AMF and side midfield. Uh, De Santos. He went to Sheffield United, didn't he? Was it in season one? He's 19 years of age. Interesting. Is he just AMF, SS and CF? That could be one for the future, that guy's. You know what I mean? Is might actually... I'm adding, I'm adding him to my list, guys. I'm adding him to my list. Um, Gomzi, he was one I was looking at as well before. I remember that. Um, so he could be one that we maybe we go back in for or something like that. This guy looks pretty good. 19. Really good stats for a centre-back. Um, yeah, Crew of course, is on there. Khan, Waterman. This guy looks pretty good. Response is very good. You know what I mean? Response is quite important when it comes to goalkeepers and whatnot. But so uh, yeah, that is it then for uh, this episode then guys I don't think there's uh, much else we really want to go for I mean we can search by group and whatnot one of the other players that I was thinking of was um, in um, West Ham right he was looking at Tevez uh, I'm not too sure about that but I have signed him before in the past in the past when I've done Master League so that was one there's also Mascherano playing for them so i don't know guys but that is it for this episode in the next episode we are going to be looking at playing into Milan um, in our second preseason fixture. So let me know what you think about those um, transfers, guys. You know, who's there? Who do you think might be suited? Let me know and we'll have a think about it in the next episode. We'll put in some bids, have a match, we'll see what the results are, and then we'll go back in for having to look at a few more players or, or whatnot. So yeah, do comment, rate, subscribe, and share as always. Hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. I certainly did, and I'll see you for another one. Take care.